How's it going, everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. Welcome to my channel. It's PlayStation 3 collecting time. We're going to talk about my Bethesda games I got for the PlayStation 3. Ain't probably got all of them. I got a good stack of them right here. I'm digging them out because I'm looking forward to Starfield that's coming up in a couple weeks. I got that big box version of Starfield. I played Redfall. Yeah. <laughs> Redfall. Whatever. I'm going to play some more Redfall anyway, see if I can beat it. But, yeah. So, uh, I can't wait for Starfield. It's going to be sweet, I hope. I'm going to go check out all these planets and stuff like that. And be a renegade or whatever I'm going to be. But, other than that, let's check out my PlayStation 3 on uh, Bethesda games. We're going to start off with Wolfenstein The New Order. Pretty sweet. It's like Bethesda's finally making a new franchise with Starfield. It's been many years since they made a, something new. I'll check that out. Wolfenstein. <clears throat> Next one I'm going to show you is Fallout New Vegas. I got Fallout 3 over there somewhere. But I, I just dug out New Vegas. I should have pulled out Fallout 3. Maybe I already got it in there. Maybe I didn't. But yeah, I got Fallout 3. It's got the uh, um, special edition one, stuff like that. So, pretty cool. But other than that, here's Fallout New Vegas. And Fallout 3 is up there somewhere. So, I have that one, too. <laughs> other than that, this New Vegas right here has got the, all the... This includes Dead Money, Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, Lonesome Road, Gun Runners. I was like, it's got all kinds of... Like, it's like the greatest hits version of it. But pretty cool. I like the slip cover for it. That's nice. Then we got Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I played the crap out of this one. And Elder Scrolls for Shivering Isles expansion for Oblivion. Pretty nice. I play a lot of the um, Elder Scrolls games. They're they're awesome. Then we got. Just a regular Elder Scrolls by Skyrim. That's just a regular old one right there. This is my day one purchase, I believe, what I bought. That's pretty cool. Didn't play right when I first got it. <laughs> it was glitchy as heck, but that's what you expect. And then I got Elder Scrolls Five Oblivion, uh, Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim Legendary Edition. Got Downguard, Hearts Fire, and Dragonborn. Pretty cool. Yeah, I just got this little slip of paper in there and stuff like that. But pretty awesome. And then we got Dishonored. This is the greatest hits. I still got to get the original version of this game, but I got the greatest hits version. I played Dishonored, but I don't think I played it on a PS3 originally. I don't know what I played it on. It might have been the Xbox. I played this one originally, or the computer. I don't know, but but check it out. That's pretty sweet. This is an awesome game here. I got the Evil Within too, but this is the first Evil Within. It's a yeah, Resident Evil type game, <laughs> but pretty sweet. I love this game. Uh, oh, I think I got this one. B. I have to go look at my save and all that. Now nah, I should finish it. I know I beat the Evil Within too. That was pretty sweet. Here's one that you probably uh, don't remember. Well, you probably heard of it, but Bethesda game that they only made one game of and, and got stickers all over it. And that's uh, Brink. Pretty neat. I'll have to clean those stickers off when I get done with my video. So awesome. Looks like I got this from a, like a video store or something. I got the little sticker in the middle of the thing there, but, but pretty cool. Next game we got is Rage, the first one. I got Rage 2 on the PlayStation 4. This is the PlayStation 3 version of Rage. Pretty sweet. Anarchy Edition. This is my day one copy of it. I bought it day one and I had a blast playing it. I love this game. Another one that you probably didn't realize was made by Bethesda. And that's a Rogue Warrior. 
you know, back in the day when uh, Bethesda was kind of dipping their hands in some different games. They didn't do very many different games, but they did do some. I mean, they ain't got like an extensive library like some other games. I mean, even EA's got a bunch of different games back in the day. Bethesda just kind of stuck to their guns with uh with franchise that they have, but they had they did go off a little bit. Like this one right here. This is the last game I'm gonna show. Hunting the Demon Forge. Pretty cool. Nice and complete. But those are my uh Bethesda games for the PlayStation 3. I would get my Fallout 3 game, but I'm trying to think of where I set it if I put it in order in the, in the games, but that's fine. Fallout 3, I might be playing it too. It might be up on my desk. <laughs> but other than that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. It don't matter. You know, comment down below, what's your favorite Bethesda game on the PlayStation 3 system? I can't really pick one. I all the Elder Scrolls and Oblivion, I did like that one. Uh, and the Fallout 3 game, I like that one. But yeah, but yeah, make sure you comment below. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon. I try to do videos every day. Work 12 hours a day. I'm tired. I'm going to get this edited, get it up, and I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Say goodbye.